Hello everyone, welcome to Course Creed. In this video, we are going to learn about weld joint design. Before going to start this video, please press like button and if you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe it immediately and press the bell icon so you will get all the notification related to channel. So let's start discussion about weld joint design. If we want to make an assembly or product, so the component part should be made to exact shape and size. And the joining process which we are using to join the parts, these are helpful to provide flexibility when parts are in motion specially. Like size and shape, the welding joints also have proper specification, position and types to make required part. During welding, Different materials or different types and grades of materials can be joined together and they are making component as per specific working requirement. And the best type of weld which we can get is one that can perform the desired task and it should be least expensive and also it should have less and perfect joints. Now if we are designing anything or any part and if we are joining two different parts, so when we start welding, so we need to consider some factor while welding. So here I am going to discuss some factors which must be considered during welding. Like welding process as per requirement, thickness of the material, different effects of distortion, cost of welding etc. So these are the main factors which we have to consider while welding. There are five types of welding joint which we consider and these joints are butt joints, corner joints, lap joint, edge joint, T joints and these joint I have explained in previous lessons. Now the weld joint which is designed it is mainly associated with the design of component, its assembly and apart from it it has small influence on material also. But Neither the geometry of weld and nor its method of edge preparation has any influence on the joint. <clears throat> As I have said, the weld joint design is associated with the component or the parts of the assembly. And if we want to weld two components, so here to design the weld joint, we need to see the design of the component because at the end we are going to join two different different parts to form assembly or two different parts to make a combined part. So here first we will see the terminology of weld joint because it is a very important part of weld joint design or during welding. If we want a proper and perfect welding, our weld joint should be properly designed or our weld joint should have proper dimensions. So here this particular diagram is representing the welding groove terminology diagram and here we will have two components suppose this is our component 1 and this is our component 2. Okay so let us write in uh, Roman letter so you will not get confused. So this is our component 1 and this is our component 2 and these two component if we need to join. So here with the help of these two component we can define the different terms of the weld joint. So here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the number of parts or the terms involved in weld groove or uh, weld joint. Okay so this is part 1, this is part 2 and at this particular part we need to form the weld pool or here at this end or at this part we will do welding or our welding material will fill here and it will form a welding joint, right. So here you can see the term 1 or number 1 is written here. So this particular opening is representing the root opening. Then this particular part is representing the root face. This particular part is representing this face is representing root face. Then third is groove face. So this face is the groove face. And then bevel angle. So here you can see this angle. This bevel angle will be here. This particular angle will be bevel angle. And fifth is representing the groove angle. So this complete angle is represented as groove angle. And here 
नेक्स्ट इज पेरेंट मेटल थिकनेस सो दिस इज अवर कंपोनेंट सो दिस कंप्लीट थिकनेस ऑफ द मेटल इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द पेरेंट मेटल थिकनेस पेरेंट मेटल इज द मेटल विच वी आर गोइंग टू ज्वाइन सो दीज आर द टर्म्स दीज टर्म्स वी नीड टू लर्न वन बाय वन हियर रूट ओपनिंग रूट फेस ग्रूव फेस बेवल एंगल ग्रूव एंगल एंड पेरेंट मेटल थिकनेस नाउ लेट सी वॉट इज रूट ओपनिंग इज सो रूट ओपनिंग इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग दीज आर द टू पार्ट सो दिस इज द shortest distance between both the components so this particular opening is representing the root opening and it is defined at the bottom most part of the component so root opening is defined as the separation between parts to be joined at the root root means the bottom most part so at the root the opening or the distance between both the component is represented as root opening now next is root face so this particular face this face is represented as root face so root face is defined as the surface adjacent to the root of the joint so this is the root this particular end is represented as the root so the surface just adjacent to the root or root joint is defined as the root face now next is groove face so groove face means this is the this particular opening between the two component so groove face means the surface where we need to fill the weld material or prepared surface we can say it is called also called prepared surface in the groove so this particular distance is representing the groove or this total part is represented as the groove so groove face we can define as the surface where we need to fill the weld material so this is the surface and this is the surface and the complete surface involved in this particular area here in this area we are going to fill the weld metal or the weld material so this particular face is represented as the groove face now next is bevel angle so here you can see four number this is the bevel angle so bevel angle we usually define as the angle between prepared surface of the member and or the plane perpendicular to the surface of the member now next is bevel angle so here you can see four this part is representing bevel angle and the bevel angle is associated with the groove face so the bevel angle we can define or we can say the prepared surface this particular surface is the prepared surface so the bevel angle we can define as the angle between the prepared surface of the member and plane perpendicular to the surface of the member so this is the bevel uh, this is the groove face and the plane perpendicular to the groove face so this particular angle is defined as the bevel angle so angle between the prepared surface of the member and plane perpendicular to the surface of the member so here in this manner we can define the bevel angle so this is the bevel angle now next is groove angle so groove angle we can define as the angle between the groove faces groove faces means these are the groove faces so the angle between both the groove faces is defined as the groove angle so this total angle is defined as the groove angle or we can say it is double of the sometime it is double of the bevel angle so this half part is the is defined as the bevel angle and the angle between both the groove surfaces is defined as the groove angle now next is parent metal thickness so parent metal thickness is also defined as the size of the weld we can also define size of the weld on the basis of parent metal thickness because this total thickness of the metal or the part is defined as the parent metal thickness and the size of the weld is also defined as the depth of the prepared surface with the root penetration with the root penetration so depth of the prepared surface with the root penetration is also sometime we can say suppose if we are putting the weld up to here so this will be our size of weld but this particular root if we are filling the weld material till this part so the size of the weld will be equal to depth of the parent material so sometime it is equal to the size of the depth parent metal thickness is equal to size of the depth suppose if we are doing welding from both the side like double v 
in this manner. So, the weld metal fill from here as well as it will fill from here. So, from both the side we are forming a weld joint. So, the complete depth of the parent metal will be equal to size of the belt. So, this is the term or basic terminology which is related to welding groove. In this diagram, you can see different types of welding grooves and these grooves we can use as per the different welding applications. And these grooves are square grooves, single bevel groove, double bevel groove, single V groove, double V groove, flange type, flare type, close square, single J, double J groove, single U groove, double U groove, T. Here uh, in T, we usually do fillet welding because in T joint, fillet welding is the most convenient type of welding. So, according to application, we choose these types of groove or as per the part or as per the design of the component, we need to choose these types of grooves. So, let's see different terms related to the types of grooves. So, first let's talk about V groove. So, here if we are using V groove in welding. So, V groove require more material than J and U groove. But J and U groove is more expensive compared to V groove. V groove is less expensive. Now, if we are joining two parts or if the joining is prepared with the help of backing. So, this should be removed if the weld is subjected to fatigue, shock loading or any kind of stress. And joint surface should be clean and free of chemical. So, these precautions we need to have while welding. And there should be a proper gap between the parts which is to be welded and there should not be a very narrow and wide gap between the parts. If we talk about single V groove, so the material thickness should be 6 to 19 mm with minimum groove angle 60 degree and if we have double V groove, so it is suitable for butt joint only and the material thickness should be 12 to 38 mm. Now suppose if we want to prepare groove for square groove. So now here we are talking about square groove. So for square groove it must be used with butt joint, corner joint, T joint and edge joint. Now if we have thin material for joining. So for thin material square groove must be joined with single pass resulting in complete penetration. And this complete penetration only can be obtained by welding from both the sides without any root opening up to 3 mm thickness. Up to 3 mm thickness it is valid and with adequate root opening up to 6 mm thickness. So for 3 mm thickness the complete penetration only can be obtained by welding from both the side and adequate root opening we are defining for the 6 mm thickness. Now if we have single bevel groove so, single bevel groove is applicable for butt joint, T joint and corner joints and in case of complete penetration, thickness should be 6 to 19 mm and the included angle should be 35 to 50 degree and in double bevel groove, the thickness of the material should be 38 mm and above. Now, let's talk about the U groove. So, first talk about the single U groove. So, in single U groove, it is applied on butt joint and corner joints and the amount of weld material and distortion is mainly reduced in U groove compared to V groove or V joint. And the thickness of the material we can take, it is around 38 mm with groove angle 20 degrees. So, these specification we need to consider in single U groove. Now, let's talk about double U groove. So, double U groove mainly used for the butt weld and the thickness of the material may exceed 38 mm and it is easily welded and it requires less material also. Now, if we talk about J groove, so, J groove is mainly applicable on butt joint, T joint and corner joint where the thickness of the material can exceed 19 mm and for double J groove, it can withstand severe load and it is recommended for more than 38 mm thickness. So, this is about the J groove and double J groove. 
if we talk about fillet weld joint so basically t joints are welded with the help of fillet weld joint and the fillet weld joint has a very vast description so we cannot cover this in this particular lesson only so in next session we will discuss about the fillet weld joint in proper manner so thank you so much for watching this video hope this information is beneficial for you so this is all about different terms related to weld joint design Hope this information is beneficial for you and if you like the video, please press the like button. If you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe it immediately. Press the bell icon so you will get all the notification related to channel. Thank you so much. See you in next class.